Welcome to Taste and See, Discovering the Bible, Two Minutes at a Time, with author and teacher, Jabe Nicholson. When speaking of some desolate location on earth, people will describe it as a, quote, God-forsaken place. But David explained that in reality, no such place exists. He asked, quote, Where can I flee from your presence? If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there, your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. Psalm 139, verses 7 through 10. And yet, in God's moral universe, there is such a place. We see it hinted at in the words prophesied as coming from the Lord Jesus in his agony. Quote, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Psalm 22, verse 1. Both Matthew, in chapter 27, verse 46, and Mark, in chapter 15, verse 34, tell us that Jesus quoted these very words from the cross. That was the one God-forsaken place when Jesus took the place we deserved. What must it mean to be forsaken by the God who is everywhere? This was pictured on the great day of atonement when we read about the scapegoat, quote, the goat shall bear on itself all their iniquities to an uninhabited land. Leviticus 16, verse 22. The word all occurs three more times in the previous verse. All the iniquities of the children of Israel and all their transgressions concerning all their sins. What a heavy load was borne by our Azazel when he became, quote, the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. 1 John 2, verse 2. Yet for those who reject Christ's offer to be their sin-bearer, the same God-forsaken land awaits. They will hear the Lord Jesus himself say to them, quote, I never knew you. Depart from me you who practice lawlessness. Matthew 7, verse 23. This is what it means to perish, to be unknown by the God who knows everything, and to be sent away from the God who is everywhere. So if you have not yet trusted the Savior, please do it today. Find more of Jabe's Bible Talks at uplook.tv.